And good morning, good people. This is your Poolproof Wisdom Moment for Friday. You know, I've been going through a few things that I have here lately, and let me tell you, it's not a big deal because I'm not one who keeps a lot of things. My basic life philosophy for the places I live is a place for everything and everything in its place. And I can tell you, in the pool house, there is nothing really extra. No storage for tomorrow, no items held on from 20 years to go, just the essentials in terms of what I need pretty much from day to day. But on occasion, things that have meaning, that I consider important, that bring back wonderful memories, those things, if they are available to me, I tend to keep. Now, I came through a box of items that I had today, and I found something that I wrote down because it had such a powerful impact on me then that I wrote it on a piece of paper. It wasn't attributed to anyone, so it's an anonymous quote. It's not mine, but it did influence part of how I think and how I am today. And when I was reading it today, particularly in this particular season, I know how many people, while they're preparing for the wonders of the holidays, many people don't have that capacity. Many people are going through the motions, but they feel alone. Many people become saddened because they don't have anyone or at least don't perceive that they have anyone. Some people are without. There are people who are going through all kinds of things that even those closest to them may not know. The holidays are a wonderful time. It's a reminder of so many wonderful things. All of the possibilities seem to be renewable when we reach these holidays. The end of the year, the birth of Jesus, the beginning and promise of a new year, all of that is very relevant, and I have a great deal of regard and appreciation for it. But that does not dismiss the fact that a lot of people are in struggle. A lot of people, as I said, are hurting, and a lot of people are going through things that many of us can only imagine. One of the core edicts of my own personal philosophy is that everyone, and I do mean everyone, matters to someone. The tendency is, however, that there's an assumption that everyone knows how everyone else feels about them. We don't tell people enough just that fact. We don't tell people that they matter. We don't let people know that when they are telling us their issues or their secrets or what is bothering them, that we hear them. We don't let people know that we see them when they achieve their greatest aspirations and when they are battling their most difficult demons. We don't tell them these things. We often don't even tell people we love them because we assume that they know. So back to that item I found today. I'm going to read it to you. Uh, because I'm not going to try to remember it verbatim. Memory doesn't last that long these days, good people. But I wanted to share it because in this season of hope, this season of celebration, this season when we talk about joy, everyone needs to do their part to not only allow others to share with them what they think and how they feel about you when it comes to letting you know all of these things that are valuable, but also taking time from their day, each of us, as many times as necessary, to let others know as well. And this statement begins with, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you deserve people in your life who think you're a big deal. No competition. No backhanded comments, no jealousy, no comparison, no hate, just I love you and there is nobody, nobody like you. That kind of energy. That's what we need to be putting into the world. So while you're celebrating, while you're preparing to celebrate, while you're thinking about resolutions and the new year and all of those things that are important and valuable to you, don't forget to do something so easy to do. Tell people what they mean to you. Let them know that they matter. Let them know that you see them and let them know that you hear them. Give them the gift of acknowledgement. That in and of itself is something that lasts long before the season ends. 
long after the season ends and gives us a chance, each of us, every day to remind people that they are valuable. And I think that, good people, is the gift that keeps on giving. And that is your foolproof wisdom moment for today, Friday, the day before the official weekend really, really begins. Make the most of it. And while you're at it, look up my podcast, Poolproof Wisdom, findable on virtually every podcast platform you can imagine. So take a look for it, listen to it, and enjoy. Also, if you're a reader or a listener for that matter, look up my latest book, I Am My Own Cause, The Third Act, Surviving and Thriving. You can find it on pretty much any online bookseller everywhere as well as Audible. Listen, learn, Take some of my experiences and learn from them and apply them to your own life. In many instances, as I've talked to people about the book, I told them I've done all of the dirty work and all of the hardship so you don't have to. Take a listen, take a read, whatever works for you. And in the meantime, have a fantastic weekend and let's get the next week off to a great start. Take care, folks.